Alright, let's settle this. Rust versus C++. Which one's actually faster, safer, and easier to master? If you're picturing an old school battle of titans, you're not wrong. C++ has been around since the 80s, driving everything from high frequency trading to AAA games. It's fast, flexible, and, let's be honest, a little bit scary if you've ever wrestled with memory leaks and segmentation faults. Now enter Rust, the new kid with a serious attitude about safety and over 2 million programmers. In 2025, Rust isn't just a buzzword. It's made the jump from cool project to industry powerhouse. I'm not exaggerating. 2.27 million developers used Rust in the past year, and it is the most admired language according to Stack Overflow. That's not a typo. And out of all those, 709,000 are calling it their main language. Think about that for a second. That's a massive leap, especially when you realize enterprise adoption jumped nearly 69% since 2021 to its current place at 14.8% of developers adopting. Companies aren't just flirting with Rust, they're committing. What's behind this surge? Simple, trust and maturity. See, Rust isn't just fast and efficient, it's safe. That word keeps popping up because it matters. Tech giants in cloud computing, embedded systems, AI, and data infrastructure. Why? Because Rust lets you squeeze out high performance without the headaches of memory bugs. And if you've ever lost hours, maybe days, debugging C or C++ code, you know exactly what I mean. But here's where it gets wild. In 2024, the White House actually stepped in and said, hey, let's stop using C and C++ for everything. Let's shift to memory safe languages like Rust. That's not just some tech blog opinion, that's a U.S. government report. They're literally telling the world that the cost of memory related bugs is too high and Rust is the fix. So. Where's Rust showing up? Pretty much everywhere that matters. If you're running cloud infrastructure, you want it fast, secure, and reliable. Rust checks those boxes. Embedded systems? Same deal. Even AI teams are picking up Rust to build faster, safer tools. Data science teams too. But here's the big question. Is Rust really as fast as C++? Well, a bunch of benchmark studies, the ones that run tight loops and crunch numbers show Rust and C++ are neck and neck. Sometimes C++ nudges ahead, but just as often, Rust grabs the lead. The difference? Usually single digit percentages, which in real world projects you might not even notice. But the real game changer is memory safety. Rust's ownership model, backed by the infamous borrow checker, means your code is checked for bugs like dangling pointers and data races before it even runs. That's right, compile time safety. No garbage collector slowing you down at runtime. C++? You can write safe code, but the burden's on you. Forget a single pointer or copy an object the wrong way, and boom, you're in bug city. Quick intermission here. While we're talking about languages that refuse to die, did you know even zombies do programming? I made a fun poster that proves it. It's geeky, it's spooky, and it's perfect for your wall or desk setup this Halloween. Viewers can get 10% off with the promo code RUSTY10. Check it out in the link below. And now, back to Rust versus C++. Now, let's talk complexity. C++ feels familiar if you've used C, Java, and Python. You've got classes, inheritance, and manual memory management. Rust, on the other hand, makes you think about lifetimes and ownership from day one. It's a steeper learning curve, and yes, you'll probably fight the compiler at first. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Your first week with Rust can feel like you're fighting the compiler every step of the way. That borrow checker, the ownership rules, it's a lot. You'll probably see more error, cannot borrow as mutable messages than you ever thought possible. But here's the twist. Rust's compiler is seriously helpful. The error messages are like little lessons nudging you in the right direction. Stick with it, and suddenly, things start to click. 
you realize, wow, Rust actually wants me to write safe code, and it's teaching me how. But once you get it, you start to appreciate why Rust can be both safe and blazingly fast. By avoiding those sneaky, undefined behaviors C++ is famous for, Rust gives its compiler room to optimize aggressively. Less time chasing bugs, more time writing features. Now, C++. I'll be honest, C++ is a beast. Manual memory management, wild pointers, templates that can turn into a rabbit hole real fast. It's a lot to juggle, especially if you're new. There are fewer guardrails, and sometimes the errors make about as much sense as a cat walking on a keyboard. But if you're persistent, there's almost nothing you can't build with C++. It's been around forever for a reason. All right, let's shift gears to tooling. C++ tooling is, well, traditional. You've got your CMake or Make files, which are powerful but often more confusing than they need to be. Setting up a project can feel like assembling IKEA furniture with instructions in another language. And don't get me started on package management. There's no universal solution, so expect to do a lot of manual setup. Now, Rust. Here's where it shines. Rust has cargo, and let me tell you, Cargo is like your all-in-one Swiss Army knife. Building, testing, dependency management, documentation, all in one place. No fuss. No dependency hell. Plus, the Rust package ecosystem is booming. As of 2,025 crates, I.O. has nearly 200,000 packages. To put a cherry on top, in the 2,025 Stack Overflow survey, Cargo was rated the number one most admired developer tool, with about 71% of devs giving it a thumbs up. So, which should you pick? Should you ditch C++ for Rust? Not so fast. If you're working on legacy systems, or need to squeeze every last microsecond on hardware, C++ is still a heavyweight champ. But if you care about safety, concurrency, and future-proofing your code without sacrificing speed, Rust is a compelling choice. The ecosystem is growing. The tooling is solid. The job market is starting to reflect that. If you're looking to future-proof your skills, learning Rust is a smart bet. So yeah, Rust's rise isn't hype, it's momentum. The industry is moving fast, and Rust is right at the heart of it. If you're still on the fence, now's the perfect time to dive in. At the end of the day, it's not about which language wins but what fits your needs and your brain best. No matter which path you choose, the journey's going to be epic. Thanks for watching. What do you think? Drop your hot takes below, and don't forget to subscribe for more Tech Showdown.